Did you know that text boxes can be any shape you want here in InDesign? So if I press T for the type tool, and then I click and drag to create a text box. Of course it's going to be square. I could fill that with some type real quick, some placeholder text, some lorem ipsum. Uh, however, this text box, if I switch back to my selection tool, actually has anchor points. And I'm going to go to the pen tool. That's P for the shortcut key. Now you can actually see these anchor points in all the corners. You can remove an anchor point by clicking on it with the pen tool. And now my text box is a triangle. I can also find or hover over any area of my text box to add an anchor point. Now if I want to move these anchor points around, obviously I can add and subtract with the pen tool. But if I go to this white arrow, which is the direct selection tool, the shortcut key is A, I can click on one of my anchor points and then drag it around. Now I missed it a little bit there, so I can click and drag to select a specific anchor point. You just have to make sure that the anchor point you have selected is in blue. You can see how it's blue right there versus the white boxes like this one over here. Now if I click around this, I can select multiple anchor points by clicking and dragging, or you could click and hold shift or maybe command, nope, shift to select multiple and you can actually move multiple around at the same time. You can even add a curve to this. If we go back to the pen tool and we hold the option key, that's alt on PC, you can add a curve to your anchor points. So click and drag while holding alt or option and we can add that curve there. And you can see really quickly, we can make custom text boxes. You can do that with shapes tool. So if we delete this text box, we can actually create a shape clicking and holding, grabbing the ellipse tool, the shortcut key is L. We can click and drag. I'm gonna hold shift so it's not an oval, it's an actual circle. Let go, and then press T for the type tool and click on this shape. And then we can go up to type and fill it with some placeholder text or type in whatever you want. And now we've filled our circle shape in with text. And you can click on the selection tool to then edit whether or not you have a stroke on that shape or a fill in the background, but essentially this is a custom text box. That's how to create custom text box shapes here in Adobe InDesign.